Hi Aquarius, it is me Alex and I'm here to bring you a bonus reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what the universe has for you. Six of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Four of Wands. King of Wands. Okay, so we're talking about a married couple. Uh-oh. We got the Queen of Pentacles over here, Ten of Wands. Okay. So, okay. We are drizzling with pentacles. So, we have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about balance and reciprocity, give and take. The Six of Pentacles is also about charity, right? Feeling... Um, like somebody is just wasting your time or breadcrumbing you, not giving you the proper time. With the uh, Page of Pentacles, this is having a conversation about that. It's like, listen, how do we bring this thing back into balance? Um, okay, she has a son and he has a daughter. Don't ask. Uh, but with the Ten of Wands, there are blocks and burdens, things that are keeping you guys from moving forward. So are you guys trying to move in, in moving in with each other? And you're trying to figure out how to make it work for your kids or how to balance, okay, a relationship and parenthood possibly. There are some burdens and I feel like you're working on clarifying that. Okay. All right. All right. So with that six of pentacles, yeah, I just kind of feel like right now somebody's not contributing a whole lot to a relationship and it is due to outside. It could be family, but also at the same time with these being pentacles, it, also, it could also be money. Maybe the divine masculine is a little bit more uh, financially stable than the divine feminine. And you guys are trying to figure out how to make it work. But I feel like you've been at, you know, pretty much a pause or being kind of held back um, just because you both have a lot on your plate and you're trying to figure out how to make it work. Okay. All right. Um, I do feel the sense as I glance back over at the six of pentacles, I do feel like someone is hesitant, right? Either hesitating or procrastinating. They're a little reluctant maybe to uh, move forward with this plan because perhaps they don't really see it working or they don't know how it's going to work. With this ten of wands here, they, the, their reasoning is probably because... There's either probably so much to do, so much baggage, so much um, responsibility with, with the uniting of that King of Wands and Queen of Wands. Yeah, look at that. Five of Wands. A lot of Wands. So that just tells me, Aquarius, yeah, you're trying to figure out how to, how to move forward with something, but right now you're being blocked. Look at all the people on this table. Three Queens and a King. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. Ten of Swords. Ooh-wee. Mama. Okay, the Empress. Two of Swords and yet another page. A lot of people in your reading, Aquarius. Six of Cups, which means that there could be children involved. Um, yeah. Oh, for some of you, you, you may not be able to get together with this person because of uh, child support or parental obligations to your kids, um, custody agreements, so on and so forth. There could have been a lot of arguments and or disputes about this situation with the five of wands and the six of pentacles is like, okay, how do we resolve this? How do we bring this thing back into balance? There could be arguments over money, right? As in, this King of Wands and Queen of Wands, this once upon a time couple, you might have lived together, you may were, you might have been married, again, you might have been committed. And again, I'm reading the Queen of Pentacles and the, the Page of Pentacles like money or financial obligations. And on one side, yeah, somebody's money is not as 
hefty as the person on the other side, but the person on the other side, even though they make more money, they have more responsibilities. So how do we work this out? You guys could have been arguing a lot lately. Um, you could have had interference from baby mama, baby daddy. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, <laughs> I always laugh at two and a half men. Um, John, John Cryer's uh, um, character where he's divorced and his wife took him for everything he had. He was a chiropractor. And the, the, his, the pun on the show was just that she basically had his balls in a vice grip, right? Like, you know, th there was one show where she wanted to, you know, get a massage or something and wanted him to pay for it, her ex-husband. So when I say like um, baby mama, baby daddy interference, yeah, you could have a previous spouse, a previous ex, baby mama, baby daddy asking for more money. And on your person's side, they could have parental baggage, right? They're taking care of a parent. They're taking care of their sister or an adopted child or a child from a previous relationship that wasn't biologically theirs. I do feel like, again, the reason why you guys are not coming together is because of all of this stuff going on around each of you, not just one of you, but both of you. Ten of Swords, it is mentally draining. Ten of Wands, um, no matter how much we push forward, we always get pulled back. Somebody doesn't see this thing working out. And I also feel like somebody is tired. Five of Swords, Page of Swords, they're tired of talking about this, right? Um... I feel like to an extent, especially with the Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles, right? Opening, opening and closing your reading. I feel like you guys may just need a little bit more time for things to eventually balance out and stabilize. Right now, especially with these double tens, two of swords, five of swords, five of wands, just kind of doesn't feel like the timing is great here. So... Yeah, um, I feel like maybe the result, the resolve in this situation is, you know what? Let's just not worry about it, worry about it right now. Maybe in another six months we can revisit it. For right now, let's just focus on loving each other, right? Being there for each other, supporting each other. Who do I have? Uh, Cancer, Virgo, Aries. I feel like that's you, Aquarius. Aquarius Sun, Aries Moon, um, Cancer Rising or Air, uh, Cancer Moon with Virgo in your Venus uh, or Moon positions. So Aquarius Sun, either Cancer or Aries Moon with Virgo in your Venus position. The person you're dealing with is um, Leo Sun, Taurus Leo or Libra Sun. Camp, uh, can uh, Capricorn Moon. Mm. And with these both being wands, I feel like you guys want the same thing. You do. You are trying to blend household, blend households, maybe blend lifestyles. Trying to get married, trying to like figure it out. I just think the timing is off here. Hmm. Compromise. These cards be talking. People don't believe in the tarot, but these cards be talking. Romance. See what I'm saying? Just focus on the love right now. I feel like, especially with these being the sixes, I do feel like things will fall into place. Right now, you're right in the, the midst of all the change and transformation in this situation, and it's just throwing you guys off balance. Beautiful success. Look at this. Not the right time. Yeah, so so Aquarius, lay off this decision, this move, this marriage, this whatever, if you can, right? Work on it for another six months. I do believe like today, um, you don't have a lot of answers or a lot of resolutions. I feel like within six months or by June of 2023 or June of whatever year you're watching this, 
you're going to be happy with, with the work that you and your person put into this. I just feel like, again, right now you have too many things against you and it's wearing you both down. One of you is ready to give up because it's too hard. The other one is just like, pause, pause. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.